Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a common issue inside Liver 3 when using Wire Navigate. So if you have components that use a JavaScript, such as this drop-down menu, uh, I'm using a library called Select2. So if you go ahead and you change pages using Wire Navigate, your components stop working. So in this example, uh, on the initial page load, the Select is working. As you can see, we have the search bar over here. If I go to a different page using Wire Navigate and come back, now it's a regular uh, drop-down, right? Or for example, over here, I have another example. I'm using a flow byte dropdown. So this is this flow byte library. Uh, it's not working. If I reload the page on the initial load, it works. If I navigate and come back, it stops working. So the reason this is happening, guys, is majority of these frameworks, if you're initializing them, uh, you're using something like DOM content loaded, something like that, or different variation of doing it. And this DOM content loaded event is only triggered on the first page load when using wire navigate okay again because wire navigate isn't reloading the page it's just replacing the body content right and we can kind of see that uh, over here so on my app.js file this is basically the javascript for my project i have gone ahead and added this event listener for dom content loaded and i have i have it compiling at over here okay i have npm run dev so if we go ahead and we'll take a look at the terminal and just see when this event is triggered. It's triggered once. If I go ahead and I change the page, it is not triggered again, right? So because when we are navigating, this HTML element is kind of destroyed and re-rendered again, the DOM has changed, right? So this is technically a different drop-down menu. So you need to reinitialize your JavaScript component. So how can you go ahead and do that? Well, we can go ahead and use another event called Live or Navigated, which is triggered when you actually change pages using Wire Navigate. So let me go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to add it over here. And the use case is exactly identical, document.add event listener, but it's just going to be while you're navigated. Now, just to be sure to you're using navigated, there is another one called navigating. These are completely different events. And then inside here, I'm going to go ahead and add a console log dot navigated. I'll also show you guys when, where I'm actually importing this. I'm using vite, okay? It's inside my head, okay? Head tag. So this is where I'm actually including this app.js. So now if we go back and we try again, just pay attention to the doc, uh, terminal, obviously DOM loaded. If I go ahead and I navigate, it's now basically telling us navigate it. So we can go ahead and use this event to actually reinitialize our JavaScript component. So for example, in the case of Flowbyte, if you check out their website under their documentation on the quick start, if you scroll down, they actually have a function under init functions, you can use init Flowbyte. So we can go ahead and actually use this to reinitialize all the components that or all the you know basically components that flowbyte has so under our app js i'm going to go ahead and actually add init flowbyte now technically i'm including flowbyte as a cdn over here it's totally okay but you know just something to keep in mind so this code should be actually this function should be available at all times so let me go ahead come over here i'm going to go ahead and reload the page and Obviously, initial page load is working. If I go ahead to a different page and come back, it is now working. So we have basically fixed it by listening for this event and then initializing Flowbyte. If I uncomment this or I comment this out, go back to reload, works on the first page load, go to policy, come back, it's not working anymore. So that's basically how you can go ahead and fix it. You need to find how you initialize the component in your library that you're using. So for example, Flowbyte, you use init Flowbyte and then listen for this event and then initialize it again when the page has changed. So that was for Flowbyte. Let's take a look at another example, such as this terms, this dashboard page where I had the select to component. So for the select to component, I have it on my dashboard page and I'm basically initializing using a JavaScript, inline JavaScript. So in, in order to initialize it for the first time, I'm using DOM content loaded, which is done when the page is first loaded. And then I'm using live wire navigated on second load, this was initially commented out, but basically I'm listening for this event and then I'm reinitializing the component again, okay? Or the element again. So now if I go ahead and I try again, if I check it out on the page, first load, it works. If I go to policy and come back, it is also again still working. So this is a piece of code that actually fixes the issue. If I comment it out, should be like before, first load works, I navigate, come back, stops working, right? Now, one thing to keep in mind guys is when using wire navigate, whatever JavaScript you have in the head tag is only evaluated one time. Okay. 
but if you have it in the body tag it is evaluated multiple times or basically if you go to a new page it is reevaluated again so uh, for something like these events it's actually better if you have them um, inside your head tag so let me show you guys an example of what i mean if i go ahead and i move this piece of code i'm, I'm going to actually remove it from here go to our app which is this is this app.php is actually the layout for my application okay so all the pages use this app.php and I add it at the bottom of the page. We do need the script tag. Let's go ahead and add that. So now if I go ahead and do that, the way uh, Wire Navigate works is it's actually replacing the body of the tag. So this script will be executed on every page. So we will have multiple of these event listeners. So if we go ahead and we take a look at the terminal now, and just pay attention to the terminal, if I click on policy, we are getting two of these navigated called. If I go to terms, now we are getting three of them, right? So basically, every time I change the page, it's adding this event listener over and over and over and over again. Just something to be careful about and be aware of it, okay? Same for this dashboard page event listener. Actually, this one will also be called twice. So if I go ahead and I add this navigator to this uh, select inside the script, all right, just let's go back to the terminal. I'm going to reload the page. So the first time I visit the dashboard page, we get navigated one time. Let's go to policy. It's still actually running. So that event listener didn't get destroyed. It's still in the background, still listening. If I go to the dashboard page and now go to policy, it is happening twice, right? So now we have two event listeners. Okay, so if I go back again, now we have three event listeners. So something to be aware of if you're adding event listeners inside your... Uh, application layout or in the body tag okay if you don't want something like this happening where you have like thousands of event listeners uh, when the users change page make sure you include your javascript in the head okay in the head tag now one more thing you can do is of course you can still have it in the body tag but go ahead and use something called this over here if i can find it yeah data navigate once all right, so you can go ahead and add this to your script tags and make it only execute one time. So this will go ahead and fix this issue we had with like, you know, a gazillion events, event listeners running as we navigate back and forth. So now if I go ahead and let me actually, I can add it over here, all right, on a dashboard page. And then let's go ahead and add it to this one as well. Data navigate once. So this will go ahead and fix that issue I mentioned of multiple event listeners. So now if I go to policy page, we get navigated on dashboard page. So this one is the event listener we added on the dashboard page. And then we had another one on our app layout. So if I go ahead and I click on terms, we are only getting it called once. If I go back to policy, again, same thing. If I go to dashboard. So as you can see, we have eliminated that like duplicate calls, you know, a million calls. So that's just something to be uh, careful about. If you are adding your uh, script tags in the body and you want to make sure it, they are not executed multiple times, go ahead and add data navigate once, okay? Just something to be, be careful about. And that's it, guys, for today's episode. I hope it was useful. So uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you learned something new, make sure you smash that like button. It helps the channel. And also subscribe. And as always, I see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.